thanks to the earth, mother of us all, her soil rich, rare, and abundant. In our minds, so be it. Thanks to the plants, feeders of us all, ripe fruit, golden grains, sweet nuts, and berries. In our minds, so be it. Thanks to the air, nurturer of spirit, home to winged things, messengers of man to the Great One. In our minds, so be it. Thanks to the animals, friends and brothers, teachers of the way, givers of flesh and milk so that we may live. In our minds, so be it. Thanks to the water, provider of life, rivers, streams, rain and snow, the pure, precious drops of dew. In our minds, so be it. Thanks to the sun, the waker of life, his warmth sustains us all. In our minds, so be it. In, In our, our minds, minds so, so be it. it. Silence is meaningful to the Lakota. Granting a space of silence before speaking is done in true politeness. Mindful of the rule that thought comes before speech. In the midst of sorrow, sickness, death, or misfortune of any kind, and in the presence of the notable or great, silence is a mark of respect. More powerful than words is silence among the Lakota. The silent man is always to be trusted, but the man ever ready with speech is never taken seriously. Aim at the heavens. Set yourself goals and standards that in the beginning seem beyond reach. Enjoy the challenges this brings. Do not look for perfection, but one day you might get close to it. If you aim low, that is where you will always be. Even failures make a positive contribution. They keep us humble. They help us find and fix our mistakes. Failures also tell us to practice more until we are better. Things are never automatic. Being in balance means you are at home, no matter where you are on Mother Earth. Earth, teach me stillness, as the prairie is stilled with light. Earth, teach me suffering, as old stones suffer with memory. Earth, teach me humility, as blossoms are humble with beginnings. Earth, teach me caring, as the mother who nurtures her children. Earth, teach me bravery, as the lone tree standing. Earth, teach me limitation, as the ants crawling on the ground. Earth, teach me freedom, as the eagle soaring overhead. Earth, teach me resignation, as the leaves that die in the autumn. Earth, teach me regeneration, as the seed that shows shoots in the spring. Earth, teach me to forget myself, as melted snow forgets its life. Earth, teach me to remember kindness, as dusty fields thankfully weep for rain. There are no temples or shrines among us, save those of nature. We deem it sacrilege to build a house for the one who may be met face to face in the mysterious, shadowy aisles of the forest or in the sunlit bosom of the virgin prairies, upon dizzy spires and pinnacles of naked rock. A god who is enrobed in filmy veils of cloud there on the rim of the visible world. 
a god who rides on the rigorous wind of the north, who breathes forth the fragrant southern airs, whose canoe is launched upon majestic rivers and inland seas. Such a god needs no lesser cathedral.